Hi students and welcome to another video lecture on logic design. In this video we will study two more shift registers. Let us start with the serial in parallel out shift register better known as SIPO. In this shift register data enters the register one bit at a time that is in a serial manner and the data moves out of the register in parallel form that is all the bits are made available at the output at the same time. To design a 4 bit SIPO register we will require 4 flip flops. As in all registers the same clock signal will be given to all the 4 flip flops making up this register. Data will enter this register one bit at a time in a serial manner. So the input will be given via the first flip flop. To allow data to move into this register Q1 will be connected to D2. Q2 will be connected to D3. And Q3 will be connected to D4. To get parallel output we will read the output of each individual flip flop starting at Q1. Q2, Q3 and Q4. So this is it, a very simple diagram to indicate a serial in parallel out shift register. Let us demonstrate how this circuit works with an example. Remember that all the flip flops change state on the same clock pulse. So let Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 represent the outputs of the four flip-flops. Let us also record the clock pulse and the input to the shift register. Let us assume that before the application of the clock pulse, the values of Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 is 1, 1, 1, 1. That is, all the flip-flops are in set state. Now let us say that I give a serial input as 0. On the next clock pulse, this 0 will appear at the output on Q1. The output at Q1 will get shifted to Q2. The output at Q2 will get shifted to Q3. And the output at Q3 will get shifted to Q4. The parallel output at the register is now 0, 1, 1, 1. All this is happening on the first clock pulse. Now let us say I give serial input of 0 again. And on the second clock pulse, this 0 will appear at the output on Q1. The output at Q1 will get shifted to Q2. The output at Q2 will get shifted to Q3 and the output at Q3 will get shifted to Q4. The parallel output at the register will now read as 0011. All this is happening on the second clock pulse. Now let us say I give serial input as 1 and on the next clock pulse this one will appear at the output on Q1. The value at Q1 will get shifted to Q2. The output at Q2 will further get shifted to Q3. And the output at Q3 gets shifted to Q4. The parallel output at the register now reads as 1001. All this is happening on the third clock pulse. Now let us say I give serial input of 1 again and the fourth clock pulse arrives. This one will appear at the output on Q1. The output at Q1 gets shifted to Q2. The output at Q2 gets shifted to Q3. And the output at Q3 gets shifted to Q4. All this is happening on the fourth clock pulse. This of course can continue for no more number of clock pulses. What you need to remember here is that 
the output of this register is read at Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Let us also study the working of a parallel in parallel out register or PIPO. Remember that in this shift register all the data bits are given to the input at the same time that is parallel input and the data output is in parallel form that is all the bits are made available at the output at the same time. To design a 4 bit PIPO register we will require 4 flip flops. As in all the registers the same clock signal will be given to all the flip flops making up this register. Data will enter this register in parallel form that is all the bits will be given input at the same time. So the input will be through all the four flip flops at the same time. That is through D1, D2, D3 and D4. To allow data to move out of the register, we will read the output of each individual flip flop. That is Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. So there you have it, a very simple diagram to indicate parallel in and parallel out shift register. That's all for now. Stay tuned to the classroom for more videos.